Hi, I'm Nadir Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use blended spaces in animation in Unreal Engine 5. So, like this, we can walk and we can run, right? So we can blend all of this animation, like this. We can run, we can walk, and we can <laughs> go to idle mode, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, I want to thank my Patreon supporter. And second, I should tell you that this video is a part of video series, playlist of video just about animation. Rigging stuff, animating stuff, importing to Unreal Engine 5, how to use them, retarget them, mirror them, and how to use animation blueprint to do some cool stuff, right? And in this video, we're going to talk about blender spaces, okay? So, first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just organize everything in here. You remember we download this character, we rig it, and we retarget it, and we create all of these animations. Now I want to create some folder to organize everything so you can see everything clearly, right? Right click in here and create a new folder for material, for example. We want all the material stuff, like this material, this texture, this, this, to be on this material folder and move it there, right? Okay, so next I want to create another folder for animation control okay so for example um for this ik retargeter this mirror data table this ik ik rig and what else we need this animation blueprint and let's just put them in animation control in here now everything is organized and we can go forward and create a new folder and call it game mode okay and again in here cut this and cut this character and let's just put it in game mode so now everything is organized where a skeletal is in here, a physics asset in here, and a skeleton is in here, and everything is organized. So now we want to use blend space. So first of all, let me explain to you what we want to do. If you go to animation, for example, we have an idle animation, right? So let's see, for example, this one. We want to blend between this animation, okay, this idle animation, to walk animation, whichever you want, through the run, okay? And I did show you how you can import all of these animations. And now we have a lot of animation to work for, okay? I want to create our blend space in folder animation control. Because we will create a lot of stuff in this animation control folder, okay? Right click in here, go to animation, and this time just choose blend space 1D. I will show you what blends, blend space 2D work, but for, because this video series is all about a step by a step doing things and explain to you everything in detail we should start with blender space 1d okay just choose that it will tell you to choose an skeleton and because we have this dragon let's just select that and in here i want to call it bs for blender space underscore dragon okay and after that i want to say idle to walk to run okay so this blender space is consists of blending between an idle pose and walking and running right so now we have this blender space let's just open it up and you can see something is in here right <laughs> So what this is, there is a lot of options and I will show you all the important stuff. Before doing anything else, I want to open up this animation blueprint, okay, that we create in last video. And I want to go to anim graph. Let's just close everything so we can just see this anim graph, okay. You remember, we add a state machine for movement and we add a state machine for jumping, right? Now I want to change this movement state machine. And you remember, for walking, we use this animation, walk forward, right? iron sight retargeted okay so we use this animation for walking okay and if you go back for idle we use idle pistol retargeter okay so we use these two animation to create our own idle and walking animation okay if you didn't watch my last video just watch it you will learn all of these how we can oh we did it right so no first of all the idle idle pistol retargeted okay now in here you can see there is a panel in here and all of our animations are in here so let's just search for idle and in here the one that i want to use is this idle pistol retargeter okay and we we can put it wherever we want so for example in here so what this panel is let me first tell you what this panel is 
this panel for example we have a character that can walk and can run right and when it's walking it has for example 200 centimeter per second uh, walking speed okay so with this panel we say if the speed is 200 walk and if the speed is 400 run right so how we can do that you can see there is a zero in here and there is a 100 but i want it to be between a zero and 400 and how we can do that in here in axis setting in horizontal axis first of all let's just change the name to a speed okay and next the minimum axis i want it to be zero because at a speed zero it should be an ideal um, pose right and at the maximum axis value let me show it correctly maximum axis value i want to be 400 for example no you can see this is 400 and this is zero right and i want to choose a snap to grid so we can put it exactly where we want right so no you can see there is a um what you can call a cross probe in here here or a multiply in here uh, and i will show you how you can work with that nope if the speed is zero it should be at ideal state but if the speed is 200 for example we want it to be able to walk right so let's just find that walk that we want and i think this is the one we can just put it in here okay and now you can see if i hold control and put this probe to zero it will go to idle state and if we put it on 200 you can see it is walking now let's just add run as well okay fast run retargeted okay now if i hold control and bring this cursor here it will run and you can see uh, if the speed is 200 it will walk and if the speed is 400 it will run and it will blend between all of these poses and you can see it it's cool right so with this blender space we can do a lot of cool things let me show you we add all of these three animations one for idle when the speed is zero one for walk when the speed is 200 and one for run when the speed is 400 now let's just go to our animation blueprint and in here let's just go back and in movement because our walk and run animation should be on movement the state machine right double click on your state machine um in idle it will play this it is okay right but in walking we want to change this we don't want it to be like this we want it to blend use blender space to change the animations okay so first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to change the name of this to walking and running okay so now this estate, the name of that is walking and running, right? Right. So double click on it. And instead of just using this, just delete that and right click, search for BS, okay? underscore and you can see there are some of in, some of them in here there are some tests in here that i before recording this video i did test it so um i get the correct value all the time so you it it for you to not waste your time on this video right so the one that i want to use is this blender space player bs dragon idol walk and run click on it and it's exactly like animation right we can connect this to output animation pose and it need a speed right so can we just put the speed in here or not can we put the speed in here or not if you remember in the last video we did talk about the speed how we can calculate that right so it should work right so the, we get the speed and according to that the speed we choose an, in, an animation right now let's just go to event graph and in here you can see in here we get the velocity and we get the length squared of of that and we put it in a speed but there is a problem this get velocity it it will get the velocity on x and y and z and we don't want that we just need the velocity in x and y and we can do that let me show you we can just delete this and in here say length for example and uh, instead of saying vector length or vector length s squared i want to use vector length x and y okay because when it's jump it shouldn't change the speed we want the speed on x and y direction right so now we can connect this to speed and this is all good for our speed and in here you can see it can walk right it's it's exactly work like before it exactly work like before everything is cool now i want to show you how you can have run as well right so for that because i in or let me show you in our game mode in our character let's just open that up in character we just walking and we are not running right so let me bring this down i want to add something in here first of all let's just go to edit project setting and in here go to input and add this action mapping for run so whenever the player hold shift it should be run right so all the games out there when you hold shift it will run so just 
add a let me delete it and do it one more time click in here to add another action mapping in here call it run and click in here and click in here and hit shift on your keyboard and it will put left shift in here and it will be saved now in our character in here we want to say whenever we hit shift that is that is called run we put run in there in input action events and run when it's pressed change the max speed so it can run right so in character movement you remember we changed the uh, max walk speed in last video to two to 200 right so with this run action mapping with this we want to change this max walk speed okay and how we can do that we can say whenever it's pressed change the max walk a speed right but it it's not showing to us because it's context sensitive just uncheck this and you can see it in here you can set the max walk speed just check, click on that and it will tell you what is the max speed that you want to put in there so whenever they hold shift it should change the max speed to 400 okay and whenever it is released we want to again set the max walk speed to 200 okay so it will go back to the walk and whenever they hold shift it will go to 400 the speed will go to 400 and in blender space will change the animation okay no everything is cool in here but it should give us an error let's just compile and you can see it give us an error because in this target we say self we don't want to change the walk speed in self because there is no to, uh, walk speed in our dragon character it is in character movement so let's just grab that and put it in target in here and in here now let's just compile and save and know everything should work fine let's just play our game now we can walk and we can run you can see i hold shift and you can see it can run but there is a problem in here you can see when we want to run and we wait we stay it's suddenly changed to idle again you can see so let's see what we can do about that if we go to our blender space in here you can see we are at the blender space there is something that is called a smoothing time i want to change that for example to 0.8 okay so it, it it will smoothly blend between two animation or three animation or four animation or whatever how many animation you have right and in this smoothing type there is a lot of them and i want to use ease in and ease out right just check this save it and know if you run our game run and you can see it's blend between all this animation and we can play with this value for example 2.5 and we get the result that we want right you can see it will blend between to animation correctly so everything is cool i hope you get what i'm talking about and please please if you have any question about blender spaces just tell me i will create another video about that so that was it for blender spaces in unreal engine 5 please if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button it helps me a lot and if you can please subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here believe me thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye